Hi, this is Jackie from Jackie's Lake Rentals. We're here at the winery over here. And we're going to go walk in and hopefully talk to the owner or someone that works here and give us some information in regards to the winery. The winery is uh, less than five miles away from Grape Escape. So let's go forward. Thank you. It's a beautiful place. Uh, it just opened up a couple months ago. Here today. Looks like they're having a uh, St. Patty's Day party. Hi, how are you? I'm Jackie from Jackie's Lake Journal in Jackie. Irish Hill. And your name? I'm Tony. Hi, this is Tony. Um, uh, Tony, give me some information regards to the winery here. Um, this weekend, we are um, participating in the Taste of the Irish Hills, which we'll be having cuisine with Colleen, who is a caterer that uh, Lorenzo knows personally. Lorenzo is our owner and we will be featuring her smoked brisket with her Cabernet Sauvignon and cranberry chicken salad with our cranberry passion wine. We are having a St. Patrick's Day party on the 17th and we are going to use our semi-sweet Riesling as a spritzer. Um, it's just her for that day. Lots of fun stuff happening here. Um, we're gonna have some live music, doing some new bodily. We're gonna re release our um, Pinot Gris on the 24th and Randy Barbecue is going to be here serving food. Um, oh, here's our production area. I'll be willing to show you. Okay. Thank you. So over here is all of our wines that are already bottled. Um, everything we offer. This is a 2013 semi-sweet Riesling. I call it the, the middle of the road wine. If you don't really know wine, people tend to like it. Um, and then this is a bottle of our 2013 Syrah. This is my favorite. This is um, smooth and peppery, a nice dry red wine. And this is all of our wines aging in barrels. Not everything is aged in barrels, but these particular ones are. bottling. So this is where everything is bottled. You can see right here where it's poured. Um, we, we just bottled our, um, our 2015 Pinot Gris. So that's exciting and we'll be bottling some Gewürztraminer and Unoak Chardonnay here very shortly. So this is where everything happens. This is where all the wine is made. <laughs> and I, and I, I did see on um, Facebook that you do extra things like uh, painting. Yep, we do a lot of painting classes here, like uh, on our wine glasses. Okay. Um, also, next Friday we are having a yoga class, and then afterwards you get to drink a wine with that. I'll be here participating. There should be some tickets left. You can find them on Eventbrite. Okay, that's great. Hey, can you tell us about the tanks here? So these tanks have wine in them. This is um, where they've been aging. Not everything is aged and milk. These are um, the steel cakes. This one has the rich Gremeter in it. This will be getting bottled very shortly. Okay. And over here, I can't remember what the I want to say this is maybe a dry Riesling, but it's not labeled, so I can't be for sure. Okay. But there's lots and lots of wine in there. I want to say about 20,000 bucks. 20,000 bottles. Uh, that's quite a bit of wine, 20,000 bottles. I don't even only have two glasses. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to go over here um, and look at some other bottles of wine they have here. And uh, would you like to take a picture of the uh, March events here? Too? So we have yoga classes, St. Patty's, spring party. This is a Pinot Noir. This is actually a dry red. The 
Pinot Gris I was talking about is I the love white. Red, I love red wine. <laughs> that's, red that's, wine. My, that's, a, that's my favorite red wine. So that's a Pinot Noir. Okay. All right. And, and this? Then, and then this is uh, Aviatrix Crimson. What that is is a Bordeaux-style blend of three different wines, mostly Merlot, about 51% Merlot, with the rest being Cab Sav and Cab Franc. Okay. So when you come here, definitely check this out. And then over here, and then down here we have, well this is our Cab Franc. This is um, an expensive bottle of wine because the grape that we bought to make it no longer exists. It was our bad winters we had, um, that whole vineyard was wiped out. So. Oh my goodness. So we can't get that particular Cab Franc grape anymore. So um, how much would a uh, bottle of this wine cost? Uh, $69.95. $69.95. Well, you know what? Mother's Day is coming up. So <laughs> definitely come here and buy your mom a bottle of wine. She will love you dearly for this. <laughs> Is my, are my kids listening? Buy me this bottle of wine. <laughs> you can, um, on our dry flight on the weekends, it's a $2 pour. And so this I it. see is, uh, is are these one of your... Um, uh, this is a dessert wine. Dessert so. wine. So wow. what this is, it's made with a Cab Sav grape that's been raisined and pressed. And when you press it down in a raisin grape, you get like one drop of juice. So it's a small volume bottle because it's labor intensive and expensive to make. Um, it smells like raisins and tastes like cherry pie. And if you really, really like chocolate, you should try that with it. Now, could you tell us about your wine tasting here? A little um, bit about your wine tasting? Here we do two different flights. Um, a dry flight or a sweet flight, and they each consist of six pours. So when you're done, it's about a glass of wine. Um, also, if we're not busy, I like to let people mix and match their wines. Mm -hmm. So I give them a tasting list and a pen and say, hey, choose six wines. I don't care if it's from the sweet side or the dry side, and I'll pour them in the appropriate order so you get the full flavor of each wine. Okay, and what does that cost? Um, it's $10 plus tax, and you get to keep your stemware. Um, oh, let me get okay. you a glass. Yeah, yeah let's, let's see the glass. glass. So this is what our glasses look like. Oh, wow. It's called the Diamond Balloon Glass. Beautiful. So you get to really smell the wine. So for ten dollars, try the wine, take the glass home. That's very lovely. Very lovely. And they're um, <coughs> for sale as well. You can buy them for five dollars. So is this what you're talking about? The painting? Yep, oh, that's our abstract paint class. We've this done a couple of times here. I this don't. is beautiful. Yeah, this is very, very nice. Very nice. And when is this class going to be again? Do you know? Um, we usually do it once a month. We just had one a couple of days ago, so probably not until April. Okay. So definitely, if you come to Grape Escape Cottage, check it out, and come here and have some wine, do some painting. And have some fun. And then is there any other wines here too? Uh, how about an ice wine? Yep, we do have an ice, ice wine. wine. Okay. Um, we have a Vidal Blanc ice wine. Very, very sweet. Made with a basic white grape. Um, frozen grape, which, which makes it an ice wine. Same process as the Pasito. Um, when the grape is pressed, you get very, very little juice. Okay, and so then this, get, one right here, this one right here too? This um, is no, this is a late harvest Riesling. So what that is, is um, a Riesling made with a grape that's hung around on the vine a little longer. And this particular late harvest Riesling has been taken over by the Bataille tribe fungus, which means um, the, the grapes have a higher sugar concentration and lower water concentration. So we call it a noble rock. It's not a bad fungus, it's good for wine. Okay, <laughs> great, great, okay. And so we get this one and we already did all these ones right here. So beautiful wine. So, Lots and lots to choose from. I see her t-shirts over here too. We do, we sell t-shirts. Okay. Um, men and women. Okay. Um, sizes small through thumb up to 3X. It just depends. And, and what do these range from, price? Um, they're all about in the $20 range. $20 range. Okay. Lovely. And this right here for men. Definitely take a souvenir home. This is great. It's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Casual, jeans, everything. It's really nice. Same shirts we wear. <coughs> oh, here, oh, this one, I, lo I definitely like this one right here. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, these ones that these show ones are. Our, uh, our little winery in Jackson. That's what it looks like, the little gazebo okay. area. We have Because we do have another location. And how long has Jackson Winery been open for? I want to say about 10 years. Okay. It's, it's at our owner's home and uh, it has a grass runway. You know, kind of a nod to his okay. love of flying. He's a okay. pilot for Delta. Okay. And then uh, also, too, I did meet, meet the owner um, a while back, and he mentioned be having, eventually having weddings here. Yeah, hopefully. That'll be exciting. Yeah. And then something about building the vineyard? Yeah. And we're the over here? We have tons and tons of acres over there. I don't remember the exact number right now on the okay. spot. 
Um, okay. We will eventually grow our own grapes here, but okay. a harvest of grapes takes about three to five years, so it's going to be a little while. Okay. But eventually, they'll all be our own. <laughs> well, this is amazing. This is amazing. So again, if you come to Grape Escape Cottage on Vineyard Lake in Irish Hills, um, it's less than five miles away, and um, have some wine and take a souvenir home with you and have fun. Thank you.